Where's the best place to meet a girl? Contrary to popular belief, dating apps, online dating, clubs, or bars are not the best places to meet women. Why? Well, in bars or clubs, you have unlimited competition with drunk guys who've been harassing girls all night. Two, on Tinder and other dating apps, although convenient, there is a ton of competition and it's also not very romantic. Instead, meeting women naturally has the following benefits. You can meet an unlimited number of women everywhere, every day. Two, you'll build confidence and social skills. And three, you'll have a great story about how you met instead of, I swiped right. Here are the top places to meet women, and afterwards, I'll cover some specific ways to start a conversation. One, cafes. There are women here studying, killing time, relaxing, and getting together with friends. It's an easy, relaxed place with low pressure to start a conversation. Baristas are easy to chat up in this environment too, and I've gotten many dates with both staff and customers at different cafes. Two, the street. No matter where you go, you have to hit the street. This means you'll be walking past tons of women which you could be starting conversations with. Three, while grocery shopping or any shopping. This is a relaxed environment where it's easy to start conversations. Four, meetup.com. This is the norm, but still a good place to start, especially if you have anxiety about approaching women. Pick an event which interests you to meet women with some common ground. So what's the best way to start a conversation in these environments? Let's start with a direct approach. This is a direct, no-nonsense way to meet women. If you hate beating around the bush, you love going direct. Most approaches are compliment-based, like, I think you're cute, or I love your sense of style. By doing this, you'll quickly find out if she's interested and avoid wasting time. Being bold shows confidence too, which is attractive to women. Some benefits of going direct include honesty, you're telling your interests up front. Two, it's ballsy, a big turn on for women. Three, it's fast, you'll find out if she's interested or not within a few seconds. And four, it's flattering. Even if it doesn't work out, it's very flattering and you'll both walk away with a smile. Action steps. Walk up to her and say, excuse me, make sure to give her some space and don't get in her bubble. Tell her why you walked up to her by explaining the situation. For example, I was just walking the other way when I saw you. Then give her a simple compliment, you look great so I wanted to say hi. If she's comfortable, then start learning about her. What do you do for work? End the conversation after you made a connection and ask her out for coffee. Let's grab a coffee sometime. For more details, click on the link in the description. Next, situational approaches. Situational approaches are any approach which you start a conversation based on the situation. This can include asking a question or making a comment. For example, at a cafe, that looks like some intense studying, what are you working on? Or in a grocery store with a woman trying to find something. There are too many options, it's hard to choose. The point is to start a conversation with a casual remark and see where it leads. The trick to making it work though is learning how to lead the conversation to make a connection. You need to learn about her to make a connection and not talk about what you started the conversation on. This takes practice and experimentation. Want to learn more? Click on the link in the description or go to conqueringwin.com to learn how coaching could help your love life. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and leave your questions in the comment section.